when I started, we spoke about having three priorities, um, one of which is trying to establish the true prevalence of HIV in Nigeria, uh, rebasing the HIV epidemic, and I'm pleased to say we've actually done that now. Uh, so that's priority number one, tick, done. Um, the second priority had to do with funding, trying to improve the funding landscape for HIV in the country. So when I started, um, there were basically three funders, um, Global Fund, uh, PEPFA through the US government and the government of Nigeria. And uh, we've successfully uh, worked with government. Uh, the president um, actually gave us a special intervention fund to match the gap we had in our budgets and um, has directed both the Ministry of Finance and the Budget Office to make sure from 2019 onwards our budget for Taraba and IBI is adequate. And I can tell you that in 2019 our budget in NACA would be at least twice what we had in 2018 for the purpose of treatment. Um, the third one had to do with PMTCT, the prevention of mother-to-child transmission. And as you know, Nigeria contributes the largest burden of uh, babies born with HIV in the world. Now, only about 50% of our pregnant women in Nigeria go for antenatal care, which means that if we're trying to test every pregnant woman presenting to a facility for HIV, the highest score we can have is 50%. With the benefit of hindsight, if it was now, I wouldn't have put it as a major priority to, to achieve within two years. It's something that you have to put in the long run. It's been very challenging. So the environment is very different. Um, I've been working in the UK for about 20 years, so coming to Nigeria where uh, sometimes things could be difficult, um, generally people also tend to think in the short term here. People don't think in the long term in terms of planning. So it's always difficult when you're talking about things in years saying, look, this is how we should restructure and really we're looking at in the next 10 years where we are going to be. Uh, whereas people think in the short term, what will happen next week, what will happen next month, um, etc. So trying to get people to think in a different way in that respect has always been challenging. Leadership is not a popularity contest. Uh, to be a good leader, you must be ready to take hard decisions. Hard decisions that may not, uh, people sometimes may not find um, uh, favorable to them or they may not be happy with. But in the long term, provided it is for the best interest of the organization or for the response or for the country, then, th then really one shouldn't shirk away from taking those responsibilities. Overall, it's been a very exciting job. I'm, I'm pleased I, I was able to come and do the job and um, I hope that uh, one day when I finish the job, people will, uh, will remember me as somebody who would actually put in his very best um, for the country.